Hello everybody. Got another update for you. So uh, the day that I made my other video, talked a little bit, I believe, about uh, trying to pin up my chickens a little bit because they were going in the towards the front yard. They were getting up by the the road, and uh, neighborhood dogs run up and down that road, and so I was trying to keep them back. Well. I did end up losing a chicken. Not up by the road though, in my backyard. One of those dogs. Oh, there's a creek out back, and then one of those dogs follows that creek, and it came out of the woods there and was able to get a hold of one of my chickens. That dog has gotten a total of eight of my chickens. And, uh,. Other neighbors have lost chickens and rabbits and stuff like that. There's at least three or four families around here that have lost animals due to that stupid dog. And we file complaints, but all that can ever happen is that the sheriff's officers tell them to uh, pin up their dog. I go over and the guy will pay, pay me for my animals starting to get kind of expensive for him but he locks it up for a while and lets it back back out it's very annoying so I lost one of my black sex links so I'm down to uh, four hens two roosters I really only want one rooster mumbles a little little annoying little guy eventually he's gonna find another home so these guys are all confined now for until I can figure out something else to do stupid thing was you know I just went in the house my kids were outside playing and the dog had no trouble you know sneaking out and getting it right in front of my kids And then the, the place is starting to be crawling with feral cats. There's a family up the road that has tons and tons of cats roaming around their, their property. And it's gotten to be so many cats, and now they're just all over the neighborhood. So that's what got Alice. And uh, they keep trying to get the chickens, but these bigger girls, they're... They're able to fend for themselves pretty well, but uh, it's kind of becoming a headache between dogs and cats. I keep patching up holes in my uh, chicken run from things trying to get into it, so I think it's pretty secure. Last time, last year, I lost six chickens to that dog across the street. There's actually a total of three dogs that they have, and uh, see the babies down there. Get a closer view here. But uh, I built a chicken tractor, and yeah, I'm, I'm not very good at building anything. And I go in and take a shower. And by the time I got out out of the shower, my kids are telling me that the black and white dog was in our backyard eating the chickens. I mean, it just took long enough for me to take a shower. 30 minutes, basically. Go in there and start get, get dressed and everything and get back out and I had a Rhode Island Red that I really liked and I walk outside and see that dog running away with my, my favorite chicken in its mouth. I never, for one, I don't have a gun, except for BB guns, and I never can catch it, you know, out in the yard when it's over here. Last time I, I talked to the sheriff's officer, though, they informed me that rabbits and chickens and stuff aren't considered livestock. So, uh, they can't do anything about the dog, except for to talk to the owner and tell him to pin it up. 
but they can't force them to do anything. It's just a suggestion, you know. And, uh, but if I was to actually shoot their dog, they could take me to court on a civil case for killing their pet. But yet it's okay for their pet to come over and kill all mine. Very backwards and stupid. But, anyways, there's my little rant, grump. Babies are doing fine. They're loving their new little area here. Lots more room to roam around. Uh, here's the feeder. I was going to do a video about this. You know, one of these feeders. Hey, quiet! Oh, when you put the uh, uh, mason jar on it, <clears throat> when you go to refill, it's really kind of messy and it wastes a lot of food. So I'm just coming out here like twice a day and uh, putting more food in there. Well, sounds like they want me to get out of here, so... As they're ready to lay an egg chant, one of them will be in the nest box, and usually there's at least one other one sitting outside watching them doing that little chant. It's funny, but until next time, it's Josh.